Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have an update on my lotion project pan and I'm really excited to share with you my updates. So if you missed my intro to this project, this is a short-term project where I'm really focusing in on lotions and creams. So I've got eye creams in here, body lotions, face creams, any kind of cream or lotion is fair game here and I'm trying to just use up as many as I can by the end of the year. I have some pretty exciting updates this time. I have used up three since my intro and I'm excited to share the rest of my progress and just kind of talk about how this has been going. Also, I have a little bit of a different background today. You'll have to let me know what you think. I don't normally film out in the living room. The audio might be a little bit different because it's a lot more of an open space out here. The first product I shared last month is finished. This is the House of Gloy Pumpkin Butter in the Summer Dress scent. I'm glad to have finished this now because it is more of a summery scent and I'm wanting to move into more warm fall scents right now. Before I put it into the project pan, I was not using it because I was like, well, it's so nice and luxurious and um, you know, it was a gift and I don't want to use it up too quickly, but I'm glad to be finished with it because that means I really got maximum enjoyment out of it. I used all of it up. In case you're curious, I have decided not to make this a rolling project pan. Um, there are 10 products in this project and it's only a three month long project. So really the goal is just to clear out as many of these things as I can. So it's not a rolling project. I won't be adding anything in that product's place. Hey, let's not climb the camera, okay? <laughs> Another body butter that I included in the project is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. This is probably the newest product in the project and I really did get a good dip going on in here. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year, but really the goal is just to make progress on it and use it and since it is a lovely fall scent i'm really in the mood to use this anyway so i just want to see how much of it i can finish by the end of the year but when i started it was almost completely full and i i think that i've used up a really good amount of it so far next thing that i, I really don't know how this is going but this is the nubian heritage raw shea butter body lotion i don't feel like i used this as much as i used some of the other products and also it's really hard for me to track how much is in here because it's a very thick lotion and I feel like a lot of it is stuck up at the top and I've been storing it upside down. Last month I marked it here and I'm not gonna mark it again because I just don't know where it is right now and that was really just an approximation too. Um, and I marked it there having been storing it upside down so it was this much, not this much. But now that I've finished up a couple of other products, I think that I will be getting more use out of this this month. I will go ahead and tell you that I did finish the Trader Joe's Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. It was about right here when we started last month. And I might have like one or two more uses out of here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it's finished because I'm probably gonna use it like one more time tonight and then <laughs> it'll go in my empties bin. So now that this is done, I'm going to also be using this as my hand cream because I have a little travel container that I've been putting some of this into so that I can use this as a hand cream or just a mini lotion to keep in my purse or at my desk or wherever. So I do expect to make more progress on this Nubian Heritage lotion next month. And I'm very happy to have finished the Trader Joe's hand cream. This is just the one that I kept in my purse and I just used it regularly. I didn't even really have to try to use it up. It kind of just used itself up because I'm always using hand cream, especially when I'm out and about. After I wash my hands, I pretty much always put on hand cream because I can't stand the feeling of like dry hands when like right after you've washed them, I hate that feeling. So that was pretty easy to finish. The next thing that I also finished was the J.R. Watkins mini foot lotion. This was just a one fluid ounce like travel size of foot lotion basically. I kept this at my nightstand and tried to use it. I didn't use it every night, but I tried to use it as often as I could remember. And I literally just finished it off. I was like about to film this video and I'm like, I know I can finish that. I'm just gonna like put some on my legs and my feet. Uh, and that was that. So that's finished. That was kind of an easy thing to finish. When I started this project, it was, I had marked it right about there. So I think there was about a third of it left, but such a tiny bottle that this was really kind of like a gimme product, but I am glad to have finished it. And I don't know that I would have finished it if I hadn't put it in this project because I just, it's one of those things that I just kept forgetting that I had. So that's done. I do really like this. It has a very cooling feeling to it because I guess because of the peppermint oil. The next product I have is the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Renewal Cream. This is not finished, but I did make awesome progress on it. I am now at the point where I'm scraping out the bottom. There's literally like half a centimeter's worth of product at the bottom, so I'm just using it up. Using it every night as my nighttime face cream. 
I also might try to make a point to start using it in the morning as well underneath my sunscreen. But yeah, that's where we are on that. I expect to be certainly done with it by the end of the year maybe even next month. And that, that other face cream is the Fleur and Bee Creme de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream. Uh, this is also getting pretty low, I can tell. I didn't use this one as much this month because I was focusing more on the Derma E face cream, but maybe I'll start using this in the morning and the Derma E at night. Maybe that's what I'll do. That way I can focus on both instead of just one because I do think that I can certainly finish both by the end of the year, but that means I have to use both. So yeah, I think that should be a good strategy for now. And then the AM face moisturizer I'm working on is the Mineral Fusion SPF 40 moisturizer. This is going well. I marked it right here last time and I don't feel like I can mark it any lower because I feel like that's still where it is, but I know that I've used up a lot of it this month. So I may have just been a little too generous last month or I don't know, it's hard to tell exactly where the product is. But I would say I maybe used this like half of the days this month. I, I probably should be tracking my usage like I do in my regular project pan, but I really just haven't been. I kind of just don't feel like it for this project. I feel like it's not necessary. Plus, you know, if I use this if once to cover my whole body versus using this once just for my hands, like how do you really quantify a use? You know what I mean? So I'm just not really tracking my usage this month, but I do feel like I use this quite a few times and I'm thinking I should be able to use it up by the end of the year. Then I have two eye creams, one of which I actually finished, the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. And my secret really to using this up was using it on my face and my under eyes. I didn't use it on my face every single day, but when I traveled earlier this month, I brought this as my only face cream for both my under eyes and my whole face. And by the way, I really like this as an all over face cream. Um, obviously it's a, such a small amount that I wouldn't recommend buying it just for that purpose because you would fly through it wouldn't be a very good I don't know you would have to repurchase it so often but if you're ever traveling and you just want to take this it really does work well I felt like it just kind of brightened up my whole face felt very hydrating and it left just a really nice like youthful glow to my skin so I enjoyed using it for that and I, I remember a long time ago I heard Dr. Dre say that this would be fine as just an all-over face cream it doesn't have to be exclusively used as an eye cream and so I'm glad that I did finally give that a try it also helped me finish it off so that leaves me with one eye cream left in my collection so I'm not really in a hurry to use this one up maybe just by the end of the year but it's the Fleur and Bee Eyes Eyes Baby anti-aging eye cream I feel like I'm doing pretty well on this and you can see that I've sort of hit pan on it there's not a ton left of this but I do feel like it will probably last me until the end of the year just because I use so little at a time so like I said, I did start out with 10 products in this project and now we are four down, six to go. I feel like that's incredible progress for just the first month and I'm excited to see what else I can finish by the end of the year. I'm not expecting to finish absolutely everything, but I do definitely think I can finish the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cream by the end of the year, the Mineral Fusion SPF 40 Moisturizer, probably also the Fleur and Bee Creme de la Creme. But then I'm thinking I may not finish the Pumpkin Body Butter from Trader Joe's, the Nubian Heritage Body Lotion, and the Eye Cream. I might finish the Eye Cream, but I'm not sure. These are the three things that I'm not sure about, and it's okay if I don't finish them, but I would like to try to see some more progress on them. But I'm really excited to just clear out some of these products. I'm gonna be moving in December. That's part of why I'm doing this because I don't want to have to haul all of this stuff back with me across the country. I also don't want to throw it away, so I'd rather get my use out of it now and kind of minimize the amount of stuff I have to bring back with me as much as possible. I'm, I probably will end up decluttering quite a few things before I move, just if it's not worth it to bring it back, but I'd rather use things up completely instead. So that's the goal here, <laughs> but thank you so much for following along on this project. It's been really fun so far. I'm enjoying it, and I feel like it's perfect timing as we're getting into these chillier months of the year. I feel like it's perfect timing to really focus in on treating myself to some really nice hydrating products and also just using these things up as my move gets closer. So I really appreciate you watching. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd love to have you stick around. I do upload three days a week and I'd love to see you again very soon and I'll talk to you next time.